Welcome back. All right, so in my previous video, we looked at uh, what arrays and what variables are. So now we're going to go to what a loop is. Now, this is the easiest of them all, so it's not going to take a long time. So what a loop is, is simply a repetition to repeat something. So for example, if I want to, let's say I want to echo uh, a number. Let's say I want to echo one, something like that. I tell it to echo one and go back here and refresh. It will echo number one. But what if I wanted to echo number one up to 20, but I don't want to actually type the numbers one to 20. So this is where loops come in because computers are very good at repeating themselves. We get bored when we repeat, but computers love that. So how do you get a computer to repeat itself? Well, there's a loop called while. This is what we're going to learn. Now there are three types of loops. Now in this one, we're just going to learn the while loop. That's it, okay? The while loop for now, but there are three types. There's a for loop. It looks something like this. Now that's a little bit complicated, so I won't go into that one. And then there's the for each loop, like that. Now this is complicated for beginners, so we won't go into detail. We are going to see it as we make the website. So the while loop is much easier to see because what you do is you say while, and then you go down here, you put an open and close bracket like that. So what's going on here is this. I'll put a condition here. So in here, in these brackets, I'm going to put a condition. Now this condition has to evaluate to true or false. Now what kind of a condition is this? Let's say for example, I'm asking the question, is one greater than four? Or is four greater than 10? So that kind of a question will lead to a true or a false, okay? So is 10 bigger than five? Is zero greater than whatever it is? So that we evaluate to true or false. So what will happen is that whatever condition I put here, so long this condition is true, whatever information I put here, PHP will keep running this and it won't go to the next line. It will just keep looping and looping and looping until this condition is false. So if you're not careful with this loop, you can create an infinite loop that keeps going and going forever and that might crash your computer. But don't worry about crashing your computer because if you do that, you can just close your browser and start again. So let me save this. Now, if I go up here and put this inside there, so what I'm doing now is I've used the tab key to move it there so it looks much neater. While this is true, echo one. So what will happen that my browser will keep echoing one, 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 one to infinity. So I don't want that. So I want a way to stop this loop at some point. So I'm going to create a variable here since we've learned what a variable is, I'm going to say number is equal to zero. So as you've seen, I have created a number and code and put zero in that number. And then when I come in here, I'm going to say number is equal to number plus one, okay? And then let me say echo number. So what have I done here? Number is set to zero. And then when we go into this while loop, I'm, I'm telling it that zero, since number contains zero, I'm saying zero or uh, number, this location is equal to whatever is inside number plus one. So since there's zero, it's going to be number is equal to zero plus one, which is one. Now, when it loops the second time, since number has been changed from uh, zero to one, the next time it comes around, number is going to be one. So number will be one plus one, which will be two now. So what I'm simply saying is each time this runs, add one to number. Now number will remain the same after passing through here because the variable was declared at the top here. So whatever value I set to it, it will remain there and do not reset to zero every time I'm running here. So now the question is what condition do we put here? Now I want to ask the question is, is number 
greater than 20. Okay, so that's the greater sign. Gre greater than sign, you can use the less than, greater than, or you can put greater than or equal to, or you can say less than or equal to. Okay, or if you want to just find out if it's equal to 20, you put double equal sign, like so. So this is, is number equal to 20? The reason we put double equal sign is because the single equal sign is for assigning a value. So the double equal sign is for finding out if two things are equal to each other. So in this case, we want to find out if number is less than 20. So for as long as number is less than 20, this will run. Now at some point, since we, are, we keep adding one to 20, at some point, number is going to become bigger than 20. So at that point, this will evaluate to false. Because let's say number is 20 itself. Is, is 20 less than 20? That's false. So when it reaches 20, it's going to stop. So let's go back here and see what happens. Now, each time, as you have seen, each time through the loop, we echo number as many times as this is running. So let's see this in action. So you see there's one, two, three, four, four. Now these numbers are attached to each other and we can't see them properly. So what we could do is at the end here where we echo, we can concatenate like that. As you saw in the uh, variables section, it showed that the dot sign means connect. So number plus a break. So we're going to put an HTML break here, which looks like this. Now, if you notice, we put it in inverted, in inverted commas because this is just some text. It's a string. So always a string is put in inverted commas like that. So what we're saying is show us the number and also add a break at the end. So let's refresh and we see it go down like this. So this is how you can count to 20 without actually typing the numbers yourself. Now, you can see the power of this is because I can put this number at 200 and this is nothing for a computer because if I refresh, I'll have numbers up to 200 in a second. So this is the power of computers. So this is how you loop and uh, create a repeating action in PHP. So as I said earlier, there are three types of loops, but we'll concentrate on this one for now. You're going to learn the other loops as we go on. See you in the next video.